Welcome to Robert Von Rotz Roy channel, the subject of this video is guava leaf juice as a treatment against cancer. I hope that the information provided by me to be useful, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more information about alternative treatments world. Guava, Citium Guajavelin, is plant from family Myrtaceae, and in folk medicine of tropical countries using the leaves of guava to treat many diseases, including diabetes, diarrhea, cough, painful menstruation, hypertension, treatment of acne, cavities teeth, gum infection, sore throat, disinfectant for wounds and as an antiseptic. Numerous reports have shown that guava leaves are rich in triadopinoids, flavonoids, essential oil, and tannins. Recent studies have revealed the fact that guava leaf extracts have anti-inflammatory effects, spermidoprotective, and chemopreventive effects. It has also been proved to be effective in suppressing the proliferation of various tumor cells, including adenocarcinoma of the prostate, mouth epidermal carcinoma, colon carcinoma and murine leukemia, while protecting human umbilical vein endothelial cells from hyperglycemia cause loss of viability. Various studies conducted by the researchers worldwide have been conducted to assess whether guava leaf extracts have anti-cancer effects and fractions thereof which have anti-malignant, trying to find out the chemical composition of the active extracts from guava leaves. Many researchers trying to find the connection between the anti-cancer effects of guava leaves and their ability to suppress protein kinase B, mammalian target of rapamycin, activation pathways of human prostate cancer cells. The researchers found that hexane GHF, of guava leaves was the most powerful inducer of apoptosis cytotoxic effects in PC3 cells. This effect of GHF is correlated with the downregulation of different proteins which mediate cell proliferation, cell survival, metastasis, and angiogenesis. GHF analysis by gas chromatography and gas chromatography spectrometry of the provisional table 60 identified compounds including beta small 11.98%, alpha copine 7.97%, phytol 7.95%. Alpha patchouline, 3.76%, beta carophylline oxide, CPO 3.63%, carophylla 315, 714-dean-6-ol, 2.68%, emethyl isoeugenol, 1.90%, alpha terpeniol, 1.76%, and octate cane, 1.23%. All this suggests that guava leaves can interfere with multiple signaling cascades associated with tumor genesis and provide a source of potential therapeutic compounds for both prevention and treat cancer. Prostate cancer is androgen-dependent disease and is usually treated with androgen deprivation therapy, which is usually effective in the early stages of the disease. However, this treatment fails, and ultimately leads many patients men to recurrent prostate androgen-independent cancer. Although guava leaves have proved effective in suppressing the proliferation of a wide variety of cell types and induce apoptosis, the exact mechanism of action of guava leaves has not been elucidated. Previous studies have shown that guava leaves can suppress growth of only two human prostate cancer cells, UNCAP and DU145 cells containing guava leaves Arunua Osa novel, which showed strong anti-cancer activity in DU145 cells through an unknown mechanism. Spectrometry analyzes revealed the presence of terpenes, including beta small, 11.98%, alpha copine, 7.97%. Phytol, 7.95%, alpha patchouline, 3.76%, beta carophylline oxide, CPO 3.63%, carophylla 3, 17-6-ol, 2.68%, emethyl isoeugenol, 1.90%, and alpha terpeniol, 1.76% and some hydrocarbons, including hexidcane, 1.33%, and octate cane, 1.23%. The compound of guava leaf, beta small, is proving to be powerful anti-inflammatory and endodomer. In addition, there are some terpenes compounds, such as alpha-copene and phytol which also have shown to have anti-inflammatory activity and the effect of anti-scratching behavior.
When these facts are related, leading to the idea that GHF suppress specifically AKT, MTOR, S6K kinase signaling and leads to the induction of apoptosis by downmodulating protein that mediates tumor cell survival, proliferation, metastasis, and angiogenesis in prostate cancer cells human. Due to the lack of known toxicity, guava leaves should be explored further in its active constituents that identify the potential cancer in a wide variety of tumor cells. Thank you for watching my channel and I waiting you here, next time with new subjects about alternative treatments. Till next time, I wish a gear time.